Oh, and I see Yashwan Deshmukh very much. Uh, I was going to say there are two men of the moment. There are Arvind Kejriwal and Yogi Adityanath, but there's a third with Yashwan Deshmukh. Uh, and so welcome to the program, Yashwan, and congratulations. The exit polls, uh, you know, have got it right. I'm sure you had a few uh, nervous moments. So Yashwan, uh, sigh of relief. Uh, first is the pollster. What are your thoughts and feelings right now? Uh, well, uh, you know, Barkha, more than the exit poll, I believe that it's a culmination of all the tracker exercise that we are doing for almost a year. And we have talked so many times, Barkha, in the last uh, one year, uh, you know, and with, with understanding the basics of this, uh, where this is heading to. Uh, I remember that we discussed that how uh, uh, Samajwadi Party's graph in our tracker, tracker went up from 22 to almost 34% at one point of time. But uh, we also discussed that that's the glass ceiling they are unable to break. That is where they are getting plateaued. And uh, I discussed it so many times that, uh, you know, I calculated so much that BJP is not getting 40 below 40% come what may. They are going to poll more than 45%, no matter what. Uh, problem was, Bakha, that, you know, the entire noise that we had to look into because of so many friends on the ground, they took the tracker into linearity. You know, they said that if any party is going from 22 to 30 to 35, they will eventually end up at 45. And I was unable to explain that. I was trying my level, but that it doesn't happen that way. You know, there are ground, ground realities and we I don't see the way, uh, you know, that there would be a swing from the BJP to the SP. The entire statistics was very revealing that the upswing of the Samajwadi party was courtesy the swing within the opposition universe. The votes were coming from some BSP, votes were coming from Congress, but there was no swing at all as far as BJP to Samajwadi was concerned, barring the pockets of the Jat voters. And I also told you, Barkha, that Jat voters were overtly sympathetic towards uh, RLD and, and Jayan Chaudhary. But they were not really excited with Samajwadi party and particularly not on the seats where Samajwadi party had fielded the Muslim candidate. We were very, very clear about that and Brahmins were not going anywhere. But having said that, these are the equations, Barkha, which I keep on saying because we are used to see UP Bihar politics within the caste arithmetic and brackets. The fact is, it is the women of UP who have delivered this verdict. You know, yeah. there is nothing that's else. very, very interesting. And, you know, the women and there you can see the women ecstatic uh, after this BJP win. Is it the mic? Is it Hindu consolidation or is it the welfare schemes, the free rations and so on? Or is it a marriage of both, Yashwant, in your estimation? As far as females are concerned, Bakha, it is purely the governance and the delivery of the schemes. I, I am absolutely sure about it. Because, you know, what happens is that a lot much weightage is given to the Hindu Muslim polarization largely because BJP also loves to do uh, in that in the campaign for no reason whatsoever because BJP could have easily won this election without doing Hindu Muslim at all you know I mean the way public was very clear the things that they were going to vote on was the delivery of the ration number one number two the chat they got in terms of home number three the shochale and number four the money in the account these are the four things and women, for all practical matters, they voted more than the male counterparts in the last three phases, for sure. And also the fact, Barkha, females do not really vote on the, on the uh, superficial, as I say, the binaries of Hindu-Muslim or the caste lines. When females vote, they vote on the core issues which matter, issues which matter to them, you know. They got the, when the worst of the COVID times, they, they, I know there was an anger, bodies flowing in Ganga, number of people dying without oxygen and all that. But what happens is that, Barkha, Indians, I, I mean, we are very, very contextual society. You know, we like to see the things in a larger context. And when there is a famine or there is a Mahamari, there is a pandemic, we don't really blame any one person on one thing at large. You know, we like to think that everything happened with us, it happened with us. 
And but can I can I ask you to respond to two things? That's very interesting, and I agree with you because when I was traveling through UP, despite the despair among people, I didn't find anger, and they're completely two different emotions, right? Anger, Yashwant, and despair are very different emotions. <laughs> but Abhishek Sudhir was making this very interesting point uh, about Mayavati and how he feels that Mayavati, with her 13% vote share. Uh, but three seats has basically done the BJP's bidding. Now, in a first pass the post system, as you know, adding up the Samajwadi Party and the BSP vote share doesn't tell you anything. But strictly speaking, a lot of Samajwadi Party supporters are saying Mayavati has delivered this election or helped the BJP deliver this election. Do you agree? No, I don't agree. Because Mayavati's vote share is now her core vote of Jata voters, not including the Muslim voters. Muslims have left lock, stock and barrel, BSP, Congress and everyone and they rallied behind Samajwadi party. Just like they rallied behind Mamta Banerji in West Bengal, uh, Barka. You know, yeah. and and if Mayavati's vote go down further, Barka, it will be advantage BJP because I can tell you that the non jatav Dalits have gone big time to BJP. And if J Jatavs also start moving away from Baspa, their natural landing site is going to be BJP, not Samajwadi party. So, so uh, in other I'll, words, I'll, I'll allow, I, yeah, sorry, complete your point. No, in other words, probably if somebody argues that this was the election to have Mahagadbandan, I, I would have agreed with that. Because the numeric strength of Mahagadbandan would have been more than the 40 to 43 percent of BJP polling today. But in absence of Mahagadbandan, did Muslims vote for Mayavati? Absolutely no. That's a complete wrong line I'm telling you. They did not vote for Mayavati. They voted lock, stock and barrel for Samajwadi party. And if there would yeah. have been Mahagadbandan, this 12%, 13%, because they would have gone with wherever Mayavati would have asked them to go. I just want Sudhir to be able to just interject you briefly. I have a few more questions about UP from Yashwan Deshmukh. But Abhishek Sudhir, go ahead. You had a question for Yashwan or a response. I mean, look, he's a very senior psychologist, so I, I will defer to him if he believes that this is not the case. But I think we need to wait for the results to come out and see the victory margins in every seat. Yes, I agree with him that you can't just add up the vote shares. Yes, the core Jata vote is about what? 8-9% Jatavs in UP? 10% Jata of UP? Mein. Uh, so are we saying all Jatavs have voted for her? I don't think so. Right? Also. But majority have. So we have to wait for the results to come to do a seat-by-seat -seat analysis and see, has Mayavati damaged SP on a seat-by-seat -seat basis? But Barka, this is my last comment since I have to leave. The larger point is that the Samajwadi party, as I've said, is the principal opposition party. You will see the SP make a play for the Jata vote. The coming together of coming together of the uh, Samajwadis and the Ambedkar Wadi. You're going to see that the non jata vote, a serious play, a serious play was made for it this time. In the next couple of years, before 2024, the Samajwadi party will try to make inroads into Behenji's core vote. The Samajwadi party will pick up whatever is left of the Congress. And yes, we are going to face a challenge from the likes of OAC, right? I sh I'm pretty sure the Muslims will not consolidate on mass as Yashwan ji has said again in 24 they might say can the sp deliver they might question that that's a concern i accept that uh, initially i thought that they could gravitate towards priyanka we felt priyanka was a bigger threat because priyanka yes one seat it's it's pretty terrible performance uh, but the concern was could they gravitate towards priyanka i don't think so because the gandhis have now become a liability the loss in punjab the inability to win uttarakhand Elections in Himachal and Gujarat, we don't know how they do. Karnataka is a house divided. So I don't know. Uh, Priyanka has done her bit. But I think the baggage of her brother and the baggage of that family name, as Aarti Jarat was saying, are they really vote getters anymore? We don't know. So the Samajwadi party, 35, uh, highest ever vote share in the history of the Samajwadi party. Yes, primarily because of the bipolarity of the contest, Barka. But nevertheless, that is still a creditable performance because Mr. Akhilesh Yadav was able to show the people of UP, if you want to defeat Yogi and then you want to defeat Modi, you have to give your vote to the Samajwadi party. The party will build on this narrative. I was disheartened in the morning. I was disappointed in the morning. But I think now looking at our performance, 137 seats from 47, right, 42, uh, 47, right, vote share from 22 to 35, sensational performance. And we will only build from this and go from strength to strength.
question the integrity of the democratic process because actually that election process has thrown up a very, very handsome set of gains for Akhilesh Yadav. Yashwant, I want to go back to you. I know, Sudhir, you have to leave, so stay as long as you can and leave wherever you need to. Yashwant, on the Congress, you know, the decimation of the Congress, right? Uh, its vote share is less than that of the RLD. Abhishek Sudhir was saying in the morning that, you know, the UPCC now needs to be disbanded. What does this say about the Congress? And Sandeep, feel free to jump in if you have a question or a response to Yashwant. But let me first just get Yashwant in on the Congress. You know, Barka, uh, uh, my answer might surprise you a little bit. Because my heart actually goes out for Priyanka Gandhi. Among all the opposition leaders, she was the one who really, really worked hard on the ground in these elections and for almost a year now. And yes, of course, the results are disappointing to her. Uh, but at the same time, I believe uh, fairly that she and Congress performance was an uh, was, a, uh, was a victim of the bipolarization in the state. That doesn't mean that uh, uh, she doesn't, uh, she cannot get traction in the future. I am, I am speaking this full responsibility, Barka, because People generally are now giving the split vote. They see different parties in different positioning. For example, after getting routed in the Delhi Assembly election in 2019, Congress still became the second largest party in Delhi. Sheila Dixit managed to make sure that all seven seats, Congress was the runner-up behind the BJP while they were decimated in the Assembly election. And they were again decimated in the next Assembly election. So people are giving their split vote. So, 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 so you're, you're not writing her off as a, as a political no, brand? No, because I feel that in many seats in 2024, the same set of anti-BJP voter might like to think that at the central level, Congress makes better sense uh, to uh, against the policies against the BJP than Samajwadi Party. It is possible. However, it will make another sense if Samajwadi party goes all out and takes even the Congress into the alliance, rather than getting uh, mugged up with the idea that, okay, I am the boss now, I got 35% vote. I'm sorry. Akhilesh is a very nice gentleman. I am uh, 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 I'm friendly towards him. But I have said this more often, than, uh, more than one time, that whatever games came the Samajwadi party way, Barkha, they were default gains in bipolarization. They were not active gains. I'm sorry to say, but Akhilesh did not even work even 10% of what his father used to work hard on the ground. His entire game came, he came into the campaign only three months prior to the election. Barka, you were on the ground, you know, during the entire COVID. You tell me one simple thing. Did the opposition parties forget about the common people, Barkha? Did they even visit the homes of their not own at all. I, Not at all. And I, I have always said this to you, that what happened in COVID, if the opposition was more willing to be seen in doing work on the ground immediately afterwards, there could have been a different perception of them. They only came out in the last mile when things had opened, when the economy has opened. And I have always said this, I agree with you fully. But I have one more question to you, and then I'm sure Sandeep has a question for you, Yashwad. And that is this. You have always said on our program that there can be no national opposition without the Congress. Today, the Aam Aadmi Party's uh, supporters, leaders are claiming a national role for Arvind Kejriwal. Punjab is historic. You can't take away their, their gangoness from them. But do you still believe there can't be a national opposition without the Congress? Given the vote share decimation in UP, it is a much more diminished force. It's lost in Uttarakhand. The BJP is likely to be able to form the government in Goa. It has the single largest party and the first mover advantage. Where is the Congress? It's a zero score for the Congress. I... I... I have said that and I know it will sound really ridiculous. Again, I will say, but I genuinely believe there cannot be any challenge to the BJP at the national level without the Congress. Because you, still no think that. Not, you think that after today's results? After today's result, for a simple reason, Barka, this year we have got still Himachal and Gujarat coming up. Aam Aadmi Party is going to go bonkers like that, anything, you know, and their vote share. Mind me, my, take it in writing from me as on today, Barka. They are almost going to cross 10% vote share in Gujarat now. I can give you in writing. But where will wow. that 10% come from? Of mm. course, they will come from the anti-incumbent vote, which could have gone to the Congress, but they will now get parked at the Amadmi Party's kitty. But even after that, will Amadmi's party's vote share will be bigger than Congress in Gujarat? Hell no. 
Did that happen in Goa? Hell no. Did that happen in Uttarakhand? Hell no. Yes, yeah. Punjab happened, but Punjab, remember, Gwarkha, uh, I, I think I shared with you this on the earlier program. Uh, probably in 2013, we did a cover issue for India Today, which was called Aap Positive. You know, when Aam Aadmi Party was nowhere in the picture. And at that point of time, when Aam Aadmi Party was not even, con- had not even contested a single seat anywhere, we had predicted that even more than Delhi, it was the Punjab which was the fertile ground for Aam Aadmi Party. Okay. It took Let- them about eight years. But the ground was there. Ground swelling, ground swell for Aam Aadmi Party was there. I got trolled five years back when I said Aam Aadmi Party is winning. Yes, it did not win at that point of time because of the last minute swing of the Hindu votes from the BJP RSS kitty, they managed to do it for the Congress at that point of time. This election, they took their votes back and look what has happened. Yeah. So, Aam yes, Aam yes, but do you, do you, do you, you're saying that they can't be a, a national opposition without the Congress, but the question will be that the Kejriwal supporters today are poising him to lead that opposition. Do you believe he's earned his spurs or not yet? I think, I think uh, it would be fair to say uh, that if after 75 years there is a party only there's a fourth party by the way congress bjp cpm in 75 years no fourth party has ruled two states i am not counting janta party and janta dal experiment because as in hindi they say kahi ki eat kahi karoda bhanmati ka kunba joda that was not a party that was way too many regional chhatraps coming under one umbrella but yes, yes. arvind kejriwal has earned that bragging right as on today he will go all out to grab the national land. And, and I, I and I said this to you in the your program, Barka, that entire game plan of TMC going all the way to, you know, uh, that is going to flop. Flop like big time. And Mamta yeah. Energy is not going to scale that kind of height for a simple reason. Her national ratings of 6-7% has almost like 4% of groundswell coming from West Bengal alone because of the population that she is 40, sitting on 42 seats, Barka. And even if you add, you know, say, okay, we added uh, Punjab and we add Goa and we add Uttarakhand and we add Delhi. So 13 plus 7, 20 plus 2 plus 2, you know where I'm getting. Yeah. Even if you add the 5, 6 states where Aam Aadmi Party is going to have immediate impact, their total number would be still less than 42 Lok Sabha seat that Mamta is going to have an impact on. But that doesn't mean that Mamta Banerjee is going to be a pan-India leader just like that because she has won West Bengal. And, 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 and in terms of perception, Aam Aadmi Party may be better poised to do that with its Absolutely. little, little, little presence in multiple states. Uh, and also Kejriwal's, in a sense, pan in, pan-India pan recall. Uh, uh, Yashwad, I know we have you for another 10 minutes, I hope. I want to bring in Rajat. We were waiting for him in the morning, but he's here now. Rajat, uh, c- congratulations. The party you, you support and you have worked with has won. It's won in the East, in Manipur, uh, and in UP, where I know uh, your family is from. Uh, so big day for you. How how do you read? You know, Yashwant was telling us something very interesting. He believes the women of UP have actually delivered this win. And I asked him a question. I said, is this a Hindu consolidation meets welfareism or is there one more than the other? What would you say, Rajat? Have you, could you ever imagine that law and order can become a wave issue? In my sense, uh, this was this bulldozer baba which became a wave. I mean, I, whichever way you want to dissect this, this victory of uh, uh, the chief minister, Yogi Adityanath, he had to, he had a very role to uh, sort of to play, of course, with the, with guidance from the prime minister himself and the deft handling of, uh, of Amit Shah. I think it's a lot of credit should also go to Yogi. He ensured that there is zero tolerance to, uh, to the, the abysmal situation that the state was was in and to to common uh, you know citizens of the state it was this singular issue which they felt could uh, you know could catapult yogi back into power but i mean uh, no matter how much amount of equal chambers were created on youtube uh, there were so many uh, yeah. yeah so Rajat, if you're on airport 
if you're on airports can you remove the airports so that will create some audio interference uh, but i think i got your point that law and order was also a very very big issue and yogi adityanath himself uh, uh, as a brand has really emerged and sandeep if you want to come in on that and then i'll get yashwant to actually uh, respond by the way as we are speaking navjot sindhu has lost punjab is an extraordinary set of uh, uh, defeats as bhagwant man went through that roster list uh, uh, sandeep go ahead yeah one i would like to comment on yashwant's uh, observations on the congress you know uh, his chat remind uh, 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 you know don't uh, take offense reminded me of a cartoon i had seen after the delhi elections when congress had zero bjp had three uh, so he was talking to somebody and uh, saying that oh damn these elections are cruel we just lost by three seats from the second party you know uh, mm -hmm. uh, the number two party so it's today is a situation like that just one where my uh, difference with your thing is congress no matter how charismatic priyanka gandhi may be or whatever without a ground organization how will they deliver in up yeah. as we say anybody who is a congress worker now deserves to get a padma shri or a bharat ratna because otherwise why have to be sticking around with the party for so long and even after that you know they don't try to develop any local leadership even somebody was coming priyanka gandhi cut them short and she moved it and now for 2024 how many states will they have in their kitty now they were hoping for gujarat uh, uh, goa they're hoping for punjab uttarakhand so only yeah. cash cow or milking cow will be chatisgarh okay yeah Let, and i think that's a very important point i'll just uh, let rajat complete his point and yashwant can maybe respond to both together yashwant uh, i hope you've removed your airpods please go ahead and complete your point you were making the point about brand yogi and law and order yeah remove them thank you go ahead rajat yeah one second you're on mute you're on mute you're on mute yeah yeah go ahead of understanding law and order i have never seen that becoming a wave issue over here in up i think you go speak to women and this is what is translated into this additional uh, delta which is coming in from the women vote women have voted predominantly only and only because of law and order bulldozer baba was not a small theme it was the it was the prevalent undercurrent across caste lines across community lines every single community had come out and voted there was these eco chambers that were created on youtube small pockets of journalists who have uh, moved on uh, from the mainstream channels calling them the godi media and have created these small small youtube channels who were essentially nothing better than eco chambers they were not on the ground they were not doing their research only taking ideological positions and trying to create this fake momentum in favor of akhilesh yadav that vote of akhilesh yadav was remember they are the most vocal people the yadavs and the muslims are the most vocal voters of uttar pradesh they do not I represent want to jump in rajat rajat and yashwan this will concern you there's a statement just out from the samajwadi party not yet accepting defeat and yashwan i'd like to read this out to you the office bearers and leaders of the samajwadi party alliance should not hes hesitate to exercise caution keeping in mind that 60% of the votes are still to be counted and the difference in 100 seats the difference in 100 streets is around 500 votes please stand firm and be careful yashwan is can anything still change i mean they're reminding us that some of the contexts are closed we are reminded of course of bihar which eventually went down to the wire uh, is there something here that can still happen that could change so, the outcome what can, what can happen in bihar we had said that there were 74 marginal seats which will go down the wire in up we said there are 96 marginal seats out of those 96 seats they were almost like equally uh, split if i am not wrong 46 in our exit poll we were saying that bjp has slight edge and about 40 they said we said that uh, samajwadi party has a slight edge and rest were others so what happens barkha is that if you look into the vote share the vote share gap between the bjp and samajwadi party alliance is almost like 7% yeah. and generally let's bring up let's bring up that slide let's bring up the slide but go ahead yashwan yeah, yeah. So yeah. when when there is a huge gap in the vote share like that, the marginal seats generally tend to swing in one direction. You know. Yeah. Now you see over there. Right now the vote share is coming like what? Yeah, eight percent gap, right? Yeah. Now if you see that eight percent gap is huge gap to sway all the uh, marginal seats in one direction. So. if the marginal seats all those 40 50 seats out of those 100 whatever the numbers that are coming if they are going in the bjp way then you are looking at the number at 263 yeah all right 
if they go the samajwadi party gave away suppose even if 40 seats go away i am just giving you i mean uh, even if i buy samajwadi party's logic this will come down to 223 and samajwadi party might go up to 40 seats that is not going to change the pattern that bjp is going to form but it might change the politics right if if yogi adityanath is down by let's say almost you know it from 212 to 223 I mean, I, that's a different verdict happen. than 263 right arka but you know with that kind of a gap whatever experience that i have gained in the ground i have seen if the vote share gap is huge then the marginals generally swing in the in the direction of the winner that is why you end up getting sweeping majorities this could very well be 220 for the bjp barka i get that point i get that point but generally this vote share gap is huge let's face it yeah. and when the vote so share so i gap think what i'm hearing you say is the outcome is not the question the scale of the win or the scale of the defeat for the samajwadi party is in question would that be fair exactly exactly and and by the way barka uh, i mean i'm just looking at the sea voter numbers which we are getting on the ground as we are doing the thing yeah. uh, it's about 30 Four percent for thirty four point five percent for Samajwadi Party Alliance, and still about forty three percent for the BJP Alliance. So uh, uh, these numbers, I don't know. It, it must have come. Yeah, we could. We we should update them. Yeah, yeah. But sure. whatever reports we are getting, is still that you see. Even if those number you take my number or these numbers, eventually the gap is roughly about seven percent. Either yeah, of exactly, uh, exactly. Uh, Rajat, yeah. did you want to add to that, Rajat? Yeah. Uh, all i was trying to tell you is that uh, this 7 8% is no small number to change uh, i mean the trends cannot uh, change dramatically so uh, i don't know they are just trying to keep the momentum going uh, otherwise i don't see uh, any basis to the claims that are being made by the samajwadi party it is a largely settled issue uh, so this 100 seats under 100 under 500 votes is not even technically correct so uh, this being a challenger Sorry, Barka, you are muted. Sorry, what I was asking: Would the margin of victory change uh, the, the the sort of influence or impact of Yogi? He's still making history by taking a second consecutive term, uh, the only chief minister to do so since independence. Uh, or so, uh, but if it were a two twenty three, I'm just arguing for theory's sake because Yashwan gave me that figure. Would it change the politics, Rajat? Well, how can it change the politics? Keshav Prasad Maurya has been trailing, so yeah. doesn't change much on the ground so that's the fact um yeah. see don't expect any any uh, you know outlier event happening anymore i no, no, i think no no i don't uh, mean the outcome i just mean in terms of brand yogi and 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 you know no, today no, no. all morning think, everybody has said that it's yogi's arrival on the national stage not just kejriwal's i meant in that sense see whichever way you want to analyze today's election data one thing is clear that it is going to this day today 10th march is going to shape the politics of our nation at least for the next 10 years that much is true because yogi yogi's ascendancy his pan india acceptance is going to create some political sort of ripples in the bjp also that's a fact uh, you cannot deny that he is just 49 he's been uh, you know five terms yeah. parliamentarian now two terms uh, chief minister in all likelihood that's a strong strong cv it's it's a cv i don't think any politician uh, other than uh, uh, you know uh, during the nehru days if you could come across somebody but other yeah. than that i don't see anyone matching the cv so uh, you can understand his ascendancy uh, is yeah. is a sure shot outcome of this a b uh, you know in the short term aam aadmi party's ascendancy on the national scale is going to uh, is going to help bjp because it further fragments the opposition voice now it's not just tmc or k uh, you know ktr kcr duo uh, or uh, somebody uh, coming in from the other southern states who are going to be the challengers uh, to 2024 modi's uh, yeah. campaign and now uh, he's going to throw in his hat arvin kejriwal and you can see that this fragmentation is going to further help bjp because none of them is going to come into it largely goa's result is because of ambitions of these small uh, parties who want to make it a point that they can grow beyond their yeah. home, home turf and yeah. i think uh, in the long run bjp will have to worry about up because it is going to eat away into its uh, youth oriented Very narrative it's uh, yeah. uh, it's it's narrative which is pro development doesn't have a baggage so bjp cannot constantly you know knock those punches the way it does on all the uh, parties who have largely gained gained out of nepotism gained out of family based politics and 
based out of yeah. 70 years of uh, uh, anti incumbency absolutely that's a very interesting point i'm going to close i just want to uh, stay on up for a second those numbers are changing minute to minute because there are those uh, seats with with close margins yashwant uh, i think you've already made the point that an 8 7 to 8% gap would be difficult in terms of the eventual outcome so just the big picture takeaway from you before uh, we close here today and take a break yeah I'd like to add what Rajat said about the law and order. It is just that I look at the uh, thing from the other side of the table, Rajat. I believe that law and order issue was the most critical one for the women. No doubt about that. But the reason more than the bulldozer, it was the toilet. Because uh, I know for sure the maximum number of sexual crimes against female in the rural areas happen when they have to go out in the field after the dark or early in the morning and that's a stated fact and and nobody has looked on the impact of prime minister modi's uh, shochale scheme because whenever the studies will happen i believe that this will be credited with the single largest uh, uh, point for bringing the sexual crime against rural women down i am telling this to you and i totally agree with you that uh, Yogi has its own branding, bulldozer had, but again, bulldozer thing had its own communal undertone as well. We know for sure that has appealed to the Hindutva based masses of the BJP. That is no, I'm not taking that credit away from Yogi. However, I still feel that even after this victory with the fifth, probably 50 plus, 50 plus seats down and a big credit of which, which is actually to is going to land with Prime Minister Modi. You know, let's not uh, forget that uh, that uh, 14, 17 and 19, all mandates were delivered to Prime Minister Modi's name and his campaign in the final rounds, you know, were critical. They were important. And when the final results will be out, you will see, Rajat, that the kind of Modi dividend, which actually saved the day for the BJP, regardless of the scale of victory that BJP is watching. So I'm not okay. taking the credit away from Yogi, but I still believe that uh, uh, to come at the national level of uh, where Mr. Modi has reached uh, is still a long time and he has to grow him and his team, team of advisors which he carries around because uh, you still have Shivraj Singh Chauhan uh, winning four mandates and probably going to win fifth one. You have Ra uh, Rajnath Singh out there. You have Nitin Gatkari out there. And of course you have of course, you have Amit Shah out there as number two yeah. right now. So uh, yeah. when you look at the packing order of the BJP, the uh, who after Modi scenario, Yogi is definitely has announced his arrival within that pack. But I think to become number one in that pack, he still has a long journey to cover. Okay, we leave it there, gentlemen. Thank you, Yashwant, Deshmukh, Rajat Sethi, Sandeep Ghosh. Uh, the counting is still on in Uttar Pradesh. The Samajwadi Party wants to wait a while before it concedes defeat. It believes that the marginal uh, marginal seats with close contests with a gap of about 500 uh, votes uh, could at least change uh, the final gap between the victor and the number two. Yashwant Deshmukh has explained to us that yes, indeed, the scale of victory or defeat could change, but not the actual outcome. This state is going to Yogi Adityanath and he is making history by taking a second term. We'll wait for those numbers to settle at a final score. And thank you so much. Learned a lot from all three of you. And to our audience, uh, we're taking a bit of a pause here, but we'll be back soon with more special analysis and more special perspectives. Thanks for staying with us all day and see you soon shortly. Thank you. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.